injury attorneys. Well, good morning, Arizona. Let's talk some high school football. Step inside the varsity zone here on Arizona's family. The open division playoffs kicking off around the valley on Friday night. The quarterfinals getting under the way. Let's start at Chandler High School. Perennial power, the Wolves hosting the Highland Hawks, looking to shock the world. First half, Chandler up 7-0. Highland going to work. Kaitlin Fisher on the play action. Heaves this one out to Greg Toller Jr. His dad played for the Cardinals. Big gain for the Hawks. It sets up Cash Cullimore for the score on the goal line, and the game is tied at seven. How about Hudson Shambach? He made four field goals for the Hawks, and this one picked things up now. Time winding down, and Chandler was driving. Red Yetter, the big sack for the Hawks, and Highland goes to Chandler and pulls off the upset 19-14. Highland is moving on. All right, what's it feel like to beat Chandler? Oh, my gosh, dude. I've been watching us lose to them by three, two, and one the past five years. Beating them by four. Oh, uh, they're a good team, but, oh, man, we believe. We believe. That's all I got to say. We lay our hearts out on the field every freaking game, every freaking play. Let's go on to the next. That's all I got to say, too. Job's not finished. Well, that was a stunner. How about the Hamilton Huskies looking to play? Spoiler, they were visiting... Liberty for a 1-8 matchup in the West Valley. First half, Hamilton's Rich Lachero Jr. hands it off to Avery Knight. He takes this one down the sideline in front of our camera to the house. Hamilton would cut the deficit to 15-7. Liberty the number one seed. Second half, Navi Bruzon takes this one in for the score. And Liberty at home flexes his muscle, winning by 12. The number one seed moving on to the semifinals. We came out of the gates kind of like we do and felt really good and controlled the game, and then it kind of switched on us. Uh, but ultimately, we put the you know score stop score stop together in there. We had to. So it's probably offense doing their job, specials are doing their job, and defense got two critical stops late in the game. All right, so Liberty going to take on Highland next Saturday. Let's go to the other side of the bracket. Number three, Centennial. Number six, Dever Desert Mountain. Early in the first half, first and goal for the Coyotes at home. And man, they uh, they are a powerful team up front. Running back Owen Reynoso runs in for the score. Centennial went up 10-3 at the half. Second half, Centennial's Noah Carter, the punt return. He is back. He's going to watch this one fly into his hands and look at Noah Carter. The smooth running. He's going to take it up the sidelines. He gets some blocks. He's got the hoodie. He'll walk into the end zone. And it's 17-3 Centennial. Later, Centennial running back Levi Johnson uh, runs one in. It was 24-3 Centennial, and that's the final. Richard Taylor's team is moving on. Ever since our freshman year, you know, we, we lost first round every year, so getting our first open win should be a good thing to this program. We have a Hall of Fame head coach, and everything lines up over here. We work hard. We got guys that are determined, and, you know, to make history tonight is a huge thing. And how about the defending champion, Basha Bears? This might have been the game of the night. Basha up 24-7 at home, but here comes American Leadership Academy, Queen Creek. Ty Detmer's team to start the second half. Brody Mitchell throws it back to Taylor Seely on the kickoff. Here goes Seely, and he's going to run right up the middle of the field, and we've got ourselves a ball game. Could ALA QC pull off a monumental upset? It was a night of upsets. Basha responds going up. 31-14, Damon Williams Jr., my player of the year in Arizona high school football. How did Mason Aron make this catch and run underneath it? He did catch it. Basha was up, but back comes ALA QC. They would tie the game with 31. Diego Morales caps it off by punching it in. Heck of an effort. Could they close? What's the answer here? Basha or ALA QC? The answer, the defending state champs would find a way. Darren Dodd catches the swing pass and scores to make it 38-31. Basha moves on. What a game. We've been at a lot of those games this year, so we know that uh, if we got the ball, we always have a chance. So we make sure that we go out there and just succeed. What a night of high school football. So you got Centennial Basha and Highland Liberty next Saturday in high school football playoffs going on all over Arizona. We will be here to chronicle it for you right here in Arizona's family.